My wife saw this headline, looked at me, a veteran of 33 marathons, and nodded her head in full agreement. While I didn't have the brain capacity to refute, I did have the sense to read the full article, which measured the fat in the brain of 10 runners before, in the hours afterwards, and two weeks, and then two months after a marathon. You see, your brain is about 60% fat, and most of that is found in myelin, a protective wrapping around the axons of the neurons or brain cells that helps impulses travel faster, more efficiently along the neurons. And understanding how myelin responds during stressful situations like running a marathon may help researchers find ways to reverse or slow down diseases like multiple sclerosis and ALS that attack myelin, leaving nerve and muscle function impaired. The reason they chose a marathon is because it typically takes 90 to 120 minutes of continuous, moderate to vigorous exercise for your muscles to burn through most of the glucose and begin burning mostly fat. And sure enough, the researchers found that compared to total pre-marathon myelin, shown in the light colors in the far left image, there was significantly less total myelin in the second darker image taken in the hours after the marathon. In other words, your glucose-loving brain resorts to burning fat from its own myelin when glucose levels become depleted like during prolonged exercise. But this is where the crazy headline ends, because two weeks later the myelin was starting to make a comeback, which was fully complete two months after the marathon. The next step is to see how the brain restores the myelin, in hopes that it provides a clue on how to restore myelin in diseases like multiple sclerosis and ALS. So contrary to the headlines that say running a marathon shrinks your brain, it's only temporary and all that fat-filled myelin returns to your brain. And remember, if you slip and call your spouse or significant other fat, quickly add head, because fat head would be a compliment. Yeah, good luck with that. As always, managers come from peer-reviewed research.